Genesis chapter 6, the verse 3. It said, it said, My spirit shall not strive with man, for he is also flesh, but his days shall be 120 years. He was talking to the fallen man, sir. So, do you get it? He was speaking to the fallen man, but he said, Even in the fallen state, this your body is designed to last you 120 years. Why do people die for their time? An intruder came to the system. The gates were not kept. If sickness invade your body, the gates were not kept. The gates were not kept. And we have been designed for authority, for dominion on the earth. So if we must enjoy and walk in such a dominion, we must understand our keeping mandate. Keep it, and that is a spiritual assignment given to us by God. I have the authority over this my body. So if sickness enters, I allowed it. Either expressly or impliedly. If I write exam and I failed, I allowed it. Either expressly by not studying or impliedly by not praying. We have not been designed to be under. Working in dominion. So, by this teaching, what God desired to have us come into is, is, is for us to recapture our identity, our placement in dominion. Where we we'll begin once again, we'll capture our stallion spirit, we'll capture our, our authority in God. That we can say to one devil, out of here and he's gone. That's what God desired to have for us. If things are going wrong, it's because there's an intruder. An intruder, sir, an intruder. And he said, Satan, he may use men, he may use human beings, he may use his situations, but he Satan behind it. When the waves, when Jesus was in the boat and there was the uproar, he rose up and then he spoke to the wind, the unseen forces. Then he spoke to the sea, the seen forces. More often than not, we are busy speaking to the sea. We are not speaking to the waves. Until you command the invisible to stop, the physical event will never stop. So you go to the they give you medicine, you drink it, and the thing come back again. Why you are only treating physical entities? Meanwhile, there are spiritual forces behind it. If you don't control it from that realm, here will not work. Walking in dominion. Now, let me paint to us from scriptures the reality of our dominion. That is, what, where is this thing captured? How can I enter such dominion? Do you get it? How, where is the provision of God for such a dominion? Because God will not ask us to have or to enjoy anything he has not provided for. If he is giving us the, the, the desire for it, then he must have made provisions for it. Praise God. The reality of our dominion. Number one. Our being born of God. Our being born of God. Every redeemed child of God is born of God. And is born an overcomer. <laughs> Every redeemed child of God is born of God and is born an overcomer. First John chapter 5, verse 4. It says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh Overcometh the world. Whatsoever is born of God, overcometh the world. Meaning, every element on this earth, when you are born again, you are born an overcomer. Accident, overcomer. Sicknesses, overcomer. Demonic oppression, you are born an overcomer. Let me show it to you. When a lion gives birth to its baby, the baby knows he is a lion and he is a king of the jungle. The baby lion will see a hyena and be roaring. Baby lion will see a, you know will see an elephant and be roaring. Why? He knows he has been born of a lion. The child of the king is a king. 
is a king. They give him honor. In fact, in some kingdoms, the son of the king has a, a mini throne by his side. <laughs> so when the father is judging issues, the son is there also learning how to judge issues. Being born of God. So when we say you are born again, it's not just a system to belong to a church. It is, it is, it is an invitation into the family of the overcomers. Redemption is an initiation into the realm of dominion because man was created to have dominion in the beginning. He lost it to sin. So righteous or redemption is God's way to recapture us to dominion back. That is why if anything is not going well in your life and you are watching it, you are to blame because you have the power as a son and a daughter of God. You can tell sickness, stop it there and it stops. But you are sick and then you are shivering under the cover. You cannot talk to sickness. Even in the shivering, they be speaking because a king is a king. Whether in boxers or in shoes, he's a king. You are born of God. Hey! Born of God. Whatever could not overcome God is not permitted to overcome me as a child of God. Whatever. The forces of darkness. You know, Satan started war in heaven before. You know that? He started. So it is not strange if there is war in your life. But to lose the war is an anathema. It's anti your nature. It's against the seed of God in you. Satan said, Why heaven? It, God, God didn't. God just dispatched an angel to deal with him. And he was out. Imagine God was saying, Oh, it will happen by itself. Oh, Satan, anyway, anyway. Satan would have dethroned God. But God had to rise for that. His dominion, he has to re establish. I am God. The same way. When an issue of life, negative issue of life rises against you and you sit down and you watch it, it will grow and become a mountain and drown you. You realize in that state that I am a child of God. How dare sickness come to my body? Look at it. I am a child of God. How dare my business fail? I am a child of God. How dare demons come around my area? How dare you? That lionic stature is captured in redemption. And if we don't understand it, Satan will be busy feeding on our ignorance. You are born of God. I don't know what is confronting you. <laughs> Can nothing confront God? Can nothing confront God? So if that thing cannot confront God and you are now born of that God, it's not permitted to confront you. Therefore, in the name of Jesus the Christ, any mountain confronting any of us, fall down flat this afternoon. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are born or it should be a consciousness. Somebody said, I'll go to my village and I'll deal with you. And I said, me, you will not arrive. You will not arrive. You will. I say, if you cross motorway, God is not God. You will not arrive. Hey, he will not arrive. I am born of God. You rise against me. You, 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 you. That's the last, the last time you ever rise. I am born of God. I am born of the King of Kings. I am born of the Lord of Lords. I am born of the Master of the Universe. Born of God. It should be a consciousness to carry. Everywhere you go, a situation seek to rise. Tell yourself, I am born of God. I can never be on a situation. Never. When that thing consumes you, you will talk the untalkable and you will walk out cheaply. Nothing can hurt you. I am born of God. I remember those days when we were younger. My younger brother and younger sister were going to find problem in town. I was in school, out of town. So they would beat them and they would send for me. I would leave the school. No matter what, I would leave the school. And I would come back home. 
and come and fight. <laughs> I will fight and beat everybody who beat them. I, even, even if you run to your mother's, your mother's stomach, I will go and find you. I will make sure I retaliate squarely. I will beat you, pair. Nothing will stop it. Then I feel good. They also feel good. I return to school. <laughs> because of that, in the area they fear them. You beat Jerry, the brother will come for you. No matter where you run to, he will come looking for you. You beat Josephine, his brother will come looking for you. Don't look for their problem. I, because I will come. How dare you beat them? Who are you? I will come. If you're older than me, I will catapult. I will find means and ways to retaliate squarely. It must square. It must square. That consciousness that they have another brother who can defend them against anything causes them to walk in town shoulder high. <laughs> shoulder high. And now that is a mere man in which a mortal man have confidence in. A man who can sleep and not wake up tomorrow. How much more you being born of God? You don't know who you are. That is why men will threat you. They say, I will do it today. You are shaking, shaking, shaking. You? A child of God? I am born of God. You should have that consciousness. I am born of God. Praise God. 